Greetings for everyone. Our subject of discussion today is stages of labor. So let's start. Uh, we know four stages of labor, like contractions. First one is contractions and cervical dilation. I also have two parts, uh, latent and active. Uh, second is uh, complete dilation of and fetal expulsion. Third is expulsion of placenta and fourth is uh, observation of parturient. So uh, to understand how the stages occur, I, I just drawn here a scan like initial uh, from zero to <coughs> sorry to lay last uh, stage. In the first stage, uh, we see some contractions and uh, dilation. In, in the second stage, is complete dilation and the fetal expulsion. In a third, is uh, placenta expulsion and just observation. And just observation. Uh, first stage uh, have two parts, like latent phase and active phase. Latent phase uh, just prepare the cervix for rapid dila dilation and uh, active contractions and begin with regular contractions. Average duration is like um, 4 to 6 hours and maximum duration is up to 20 hours. So um, primiparas need more time for passing any stage. Need more time. Uh, here you see uh, cervix and what mean effacement uh, it's like shortening and effacement means like it's very thin very thin very thin if we are um, calculating this uh, layer by uh, ultrasonography uh, active phase of uh, first stage begins with uh, cervical dilation and accelerations of uh, contractions. So, from dilated yet uh, 4.5 cm to complete dilation and uh, rapid cervical dilation occur. As I told you, uh, this thin, thin layer will be rapidly dilated. Also, in this phase occur a beginning of uh, fetus descent in the pelvis and engagement and rate of dilation is 1.2 to 1.5 centimeters per hour depending by number of number of deliveries uh, also primigravida cells um, are well with uh, slowly and uh, abnormalities of this stage so uh, what abnormalities can occur in the first stage is like prolongation. Yes, it is called prolonged uh, active phase or prolonged lat latent phase. So, if to have as an example of a normal occurring uh, process of uh, a stage one with a red line, uh, if we have a latent phase uh, uh, prolonged, you see here. Do not do not go up, but just is prolonged. If you will have to work with graphics, and if um, active phase is uh, prolonged, here is not a, a, a rapid one set of in increasing up. It is just prolonged also. Uh, stage two of uh, delivery uh, begins uh, from complete cervical dilation, like ten. Uh, 10 centimeters and delivery of the fetus. So all maternal uh, efforts of pushing uh, are increased and uh, also uh, a patient uh, can uh, for patient can be administered some oxytocin for helping uterine contractions if there uh, are not some uh, uh, some some dangerous uh, facts of uh, rupture of uterine rupture or some uh, uh, scars on on the uterus from previous uh, cesarean section. Usually, it takes one or two hours, depending again of number of births. It, if it is prima gravida or um, 
age related uh, things so uh, all efforts are for pushing and uh, expulse the fetus and the fetus descend and the sensor is a birth channel and is delivered uh, stage three as um, after all that a cure is like expulsion of the placenta um, it may be adjusted again by oxytocin as as delivery by self and um, help uterine blood vessels to constrict help to constrict and hide the anchoring uh, violin. So after the placenta explosion, we see some vaginal bleeding coming down and uterus start to change in shape. Uh, here doctors can apply a message on a uterus, uh, some, um, some cold uh, uh, buckets applied and it usually takes 30 minutes. And stage four, I co I'm calling this Okay, it's, it's close observation, but I, I'm calling this observation. Uh, patient is uh, observed by first two hours after the delivery took place, and what they monitoring? It's like vital signs and uh, preventing some hemorrhage. So, thank you for watching my lecture. If you like this, you can uh, subscribe and follow me. See you.